Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and Master Engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Distributed energy resources or microgrid are mostly used in remote areas or areas where there is a lack of electricity supply which are caused by the shortage and brownout. Microgrid is used to assist the supply of electricity during those tough times. Hi, welcome to the Present Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a microgrid in MATLAB simulating software. This microgrid is made of fuel cell, PV solar system, energy storage system, and microgrid. Before we start with our simulation, I would like to thank you for reaching 3,000 subscribers, for donating to our channel, for buying our models, for subscribing to our channel, liking and commenting on our videos. If you are not yet part of our family, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team or donate to our channel to have access to a specific models. Let me introduce our model. I'll go through each component and we can get all the components in our library browser. Here we have our fuel cell, we have our PV array, we have our energy storage system, we have our grid utility, and we have our load demand. Let me just write load demand here. This is our operating time. Fuel cell operates from 0 to 1.5 seconds. PV solar system operates from 0 0.5 to 1.5 seconds, which is determined by the solar radiation. Battery supplies from 1.5 to 2 seconds. And we have our utility grid that supplies from 0 to 0 0.5 seconds and from 1.5 to 2 seconds. There we have our control and we have our scope. Now let's go to our fuel cell. Our fuel cell has a size of 6 kilowatt and 45 DC voltage. Here we have our flow rate, there we have our flow rate selector and you can, can check our previous video to see more in details inside. Here we have our boost converter. As I said, you can check our previous videos on fuel cell so you can get more details on how to construct and the values of the, our DC DC boost converter. And Fuel cell you can change, you can choose any, or you can you can connect in series and parallel to increase the power or the voltage that you want. Here we have our PV solar system. Our PV solar system is made by 400 models, 400 in parallels and sorry, 40 in parallel and 10 in series. Those are the parameters. Here we have our Temperature, if our solar irradiation. Solar irradiation is said to be 
from 0 0.5 to 1.5 is the time that we set up for PV array to supply. Here we have our energy storage system. Energy storage system, we are using lithium ion. There we have our volt, nominal voltage 48 and electric capacitor of 210. We can choose any, but we are using here our lithium ion. Here we have our bidirectional back and book boost converter. There we have our MOSFET switches. We have our signal L branches. We have our capacitor. And we have our resistor we are using. As you can see, now we have our grid utility. Our grid, we have 440 volt and we have 200, 200, 200 kVA. Let me just change here to 440. This we have our three phase measurement. We have our switch and we have our three phase measurement. There is a to, to supply to for the to scope. The, the four cell and the PV array they share the same inverter. Then we have here we have our three phase parallel IL branch. We have three phase parallel IL branch. There was a series, this is the parallel. And here we have our switch. Here we have our DC to AC inverter. Here we have our three phase serial branch. You can follow as it is. And here we have our three phase breaker. Here we have our control system that controls the inverter of the fuel cell and the PV array. Here we have our VDC, the grid or the, the load voltage. We have our gain there. We have our mask, PLC three phase mask. You can get from library browser. Then the output W goes to our ABC to DQ zero transformation. And from there comes to selector. And from selector, there is a difference between, like, then it goes to, it is our PI, it, ch it changed to PI. We have our sim sample time, we have our proportional and integral value, half and lower and upper limits, V reference zero. Then we have our, okay, and it goes to our DQ zero to ABC transformation. From here, it goes to our PW generator. Our PW generator, this is the, uh, are the, the parameters. And from there, goes to the, our inverter. Here, we have our beta or energy storage control. You can follow as it is. You can just follow your our PI controller, you have our PW generator. That negative is for the it's for charging. Those are the values you can change, you can change, follow it. Here we have our three phase is measuring all the power supply to the load. Everything is okay. Now let's go to the load demand. We have our load demand 100 kilo power.
Now let's check our operation time. Here we have our breaker, three phase breaker, normal close, and it opens from 1.5 to 2 seconds. That means it starts its normal close will, will supply from 0 to 1.5. That breaker will allow to supply. And also based on the solar irradiation. Our battery will survive from 1.5 to 2 seconds. It's normal open and it will close at 1.5 to 2 seconds. Our grid utility, it's normal open. It will, sub, it will close from 0 to 0 0.5. That means it will supply that time. And then it will open and close again from 1.5 to 2 seconds. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well donate to our channel or join our membership team to have access to this model. Now let's run and see the behavior of our system. Let's now check our results. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. Now, let's put our scope and to check the volt, the, the, the load the load power and the power supply by each energy source. Here we have our PV power, we have our fuel cell, we have our battery power and we have our utility power. As you can see our PV is from 0 0.5 to 1.5, the same as applies to uh, our fuel cell is from 0 to 1.5. This is recording everything for PV and and here we have our battery from 1.5 to 2 and we have our PV array from 0 0.5 from 0 to 0 0.5 and from 1.5 to 2 seconds. Let's check another scope is the same is the same thing. The same procedure. We have our power loads, we have our PV power, we have our fuel cell and the same applies there. Here we have the individual power supply by each. As you can see, this is our PV. Our utility grid is already in kilowatt. That's what they is showing. Yeah, we convert it in kilowatt. Here is the power supplied by each energy source. We have our PV power, fuel cell, and as you can see, the P load one is the sum of all the energies being, being produced or supplied by each energy source. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment, and like this video.